Let's talk about the technicalities of Tammy 2s. I went down to Ron's uh, little drawer and got some samples, and we have two sample braces, and I'll just go over Tammy 2s. This will be review to some people, new to others. The Tamarack, is, the Tammy comes from Tamarack, which is a company which makes this little joint. The Tamarack joint is actually this little piece, and the Tamarack joint system has two different basic styles. One, the Tamarack joint is straight, so no, it looks like a little dog bone, but it has no bend in it. The other one that corresponds to this size is bent, so it's a dog bone with a, a bow in it. This is called the Dorsey Assist Tammy 2, and these are called, I believe, standard or straight. The Dorsey Assist, which both of these samples have, are designed to increase the dorsiflexion of the brace under tension. This one, I think, is a medium. I'm guessing, it, because it's a plain color, it's a 75 durometer. Ron said that if they're black, they're 85, and if they're red, they're 95 in the pre-bent Dorsey Assist. So if they have no color around the washer, in the larger size at least, they are uh, 75 durometers, 75, 85, 95 durometer. There's three different sizes, large, medium, and, and pediatric. And there's, uh, the group is straight or pre-bent. The, the trick on the Tamarax is when we have a positive, the mold, and we set the little green spacers in, a dummy we call them in <laughs> the lab. It's a little green plastic dummy. All of the dummies are straight, and this little dummy then forms a pocket in the plastic that is bigger than the dummy, but it forms a little pocket, and after the technician slices the back and takes the dummy out, there's a little space with holes that can be drilled for the joint to be put in. Now, if you put in the straight joint for the straight dummy slot, the finished brace will, when it's relaxed, will be in this position. It won't have any dorsi assist. It'll bend forward. Actually, it needs to be trimmed like that. Sorry. One of the it'll bend forward, but it, it'll bend forward only if the patient dorsiflexes. If you put a, pre, a, a bent hinge in to the straight slot, then when the brace relaxes, it's bent forward. That makes sense? So if you took this joint out, and the joints are interchangeable, if you took the Dorsey Assist joint out, and this looks like a medium 75, and you put a, a 75 medium straight Tamarack hinge in this brace would sit just like that probably. So the Dorsey Assist implies or is a description of the fact that the brace will try to lift the foot up on swing phase, Dorsey Assist. How can you tell a Dorsey Assist is actually working? If you had to watch a Tamarack 2 walk on a patient and you wanted to know whether or not this function was having any effect, where would you look on the brace as they walked to see if there was any dorsiflexion taking place as a result of this hinge? What you'd love to see is on swing phase, you would see a little opening of the back to indicate that the spring was uh, lifting the foot up a little bit, increasing the dorsiflexion. Normal gait, we increase our dorsiflexion angle slightly on swing phase to clear the toe. Not a lot though, but some. So the Dorsey Assist joint, this is with the stop, has the pre-bend built into it. Drometer is the density and the strength of the material. So actually we can pass this around. This one you'll feel I think both of these durometers are the same, but this one is the pediatric joint. This one is medium, and you'll feel there's quite a bit more strength in the Dorsey assist of this larger brace, but uh, the larger hinges. But these would be for a larger patient. Proportionally, in theory, the, the amount of force is fairly proportional to the patient, but you can feel the difference. So that's sort of a little bit of a technical background. In truth, there is no guidelines for what drama to use when. It's very subjective. We have two versions of a Tamarack hinge brace. One has stops and the other doesn't. 
Here's a sample of a Tammy 2 without the plantar flexion stop. If you need strong control in the sagittal plane, the, the Tammy 2 with no stop is, is, is a very, very mild sagittal plane control. It will not control strong hyperextension, for instance. So if you feel this, there, it takes very little force to move this into a plantar flexion range.